G'day you legend. Now, I don't know about you, but more recently, I've been getting these videos come up on my YouTube feed and it's about how to join like wires and cables together without using any connectors. And whilst this looks pretty cool, the reality is that electricians just don't get time to do these type of things. It's just go, 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 go. And the result is something that looks kind of like that. Don't join one of those wires together. This is just an example. But there is one exception and that is the earth cable. And today I'm going to show you how to join an earth cable in the most beautiful method you've ever seen. And it's going to be rock solid. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so what I've got here is some 6mm stranded earth wire, which is pretty typical for an Australian main earth. Then I've got this blowtorch and some solder uh, or solder for the Americans. Why do you guys do that? I mean, you, you pronounce every other word so good, but solder... There's an L. No, it's not solder. Anyway, then I've just got some pliers. If I can hold them. Push those over there. First thing we want to do is cut this in half. And you want to strip the wire to about the length of your hand. So down to here. Stripping that back. Again, you want pretty much equal parts. Making sure you're not cutting that, any of the wires at the base when you're doing that. All right, so there are going to be seven strands, always seven strands in stranded cable, at least in Australia anyway. So what you want to do is fan out each one of those for each side of the cable. Okay, now they're separated. And they kind of actually look like the. Have you seen that video, Salad Fingers? It's super creepy. Anyway, what you want to do is kind of intertwine these so they alternate when you connect them sort of together. So each one of those goes in between the other on either side. And when you've done that, I want you to come together in the middle and then close it off. Close it off like that. And that is going to give you the best sort of connection or join. Now grab one of those wires from either side in the middle and pull it up. This is going to be your center point where you're going to start twisting around. So let's start moving that around the center. And this is going to be just around about the center here. Make sure you're putting a fair bit of pressure on it. We also want this to look like as nice as we can because we want to have a bit of pride in our work you know all right so first one down now we can see here I probably haven't put enough pressure on that front one there but what we're gonna do is we'll start off this one so pull that back a single strand and start pushing the other side So you'll see that you've got actually these like little bits of copper hanging out the end. We'll just tidy them up at the end. So then just alternate, just keep going. Okay, so once you've twisted all of those up, we just want to tie it up with the pliers and push all those little dags from the copper back down. So whilst you're doing that, so just twist the same way that you were twisting. Push that down. Okay, so that's it. It's not perfect. I don't think I lined up the middles exactly. So if you've got exactly half and half, you should have a pretty symmetrical uh, join, but I've got a couple of these dags at the end here. But the idea is here that each one of those strands has been tightened up and then pulled back. And I cannot, I mean, you're pulling the insulation off before you're pulling that join apart. But because this is an earth, we are going to solder this together so it just never comes apart. So I've got my solder here, um, and then we've got our blowtorch here. So I'm gonna. I raise this up or something? 
<laughs> Never had to do that before. There you go. All right, so putting solder in this thing is pretty simple, but you do want to heat this thing pretty evenly. These things are amazing, particularly out on site. Just start it up and they're pre-filled, crack it open, and then let's heat this bad boy up. When you're using one of these as well, you want to try and get the tip of that darker blue to the object that you're trying to solder on, so that the wire. That's sort of the, the hottest point of the blowtorch. So it'll be ready, well, I'll notice when it's ready, when it's actually sort of changes a little bit of color. You can see now it's getting a little bit more shinier. It's gonna heat up the rest of that. All right, so you should be able to just put it onto the cable itself without actually having the blowtorch melt the solder. Okay, so that's pretty good timing actually because my blowtorch has run out of gas. So uh, that was pretty easy. Uh, obviously it heated it up a little, it's still really hot. I don't know if you can see, all the solder has gotten in between that whole thing. That is one solid piece of cable now. That's not coming apart. Okay, very last step and I am going to put some heat shrink over the top here. Uh, I'm just gonna use black, but in reality, we're probably gonna use some earth heat shrink, same color. This beautiful eight mil. All right, so this is still hot, so it's probably not gonna take much to actually shrink that down. Let's use this thing again. Oh yeah. And that is a beautiful earth join. Now I should say the joining earth cables is kind of frowned upon a little bit, uh, but if you have to, this is definitely the type of join you want to do. Trying to avoid any connectors or anything like that because you want as low impedance as you possibly can on your earth circuit. All right, thanks for watching to the end, you bloody legend. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably going to enjoy this one as well.